Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C and I have another video for you guys. Today I want to talk about Crypto.com Crowcoin because we saw a 25% rally today, guys. We're going to take a look at Crypto.com Crowcoin. We're going to take a look at Bitcoin and I'm going to give you guys my opinion on where I think we could be headed here. So without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's hop into this video. So guys, first things first, we are on day 41 of proposing Crypto.com to market buyback and burn Crowcoin with a percentage of quarterly profits, guys. Go follow me at 333 Black Sea over on Twitter. Let's get this message in front of Chris Marzlak, the CEO of Crypto.com, as well as in front of Kronos Labs and Really start to push this conversation. Let's start this conversation because, guys, if you want to see Crow make more 20% moves like this, then let's start this conversation because this will drive massive speculation in the Kronos ecosystem, will drive more builders to the Kronos ecosystem, and it will also make Crowcoin investors very, very happy. So let's push that message guys go follow me 333 black sea okay so bitcoin is trading at sixty thousand five hundred and sixty five dollars down about 1.18 percent on the day we did break above sixty two thousand dollars today which is pretty incredible to see that we're in a very very volatile time altcoins are still kind of getting crushed but bitcoin dominance in my opinion has topped out until we make that impulse wave either above seventy two thousand or below let's say 50,000 back below uh, and make to, to make a new lower low below 49,000. We're trading at 56.47%. We exclude stable coins, we're at 58.47%. Almost, we, we did we did tick up to 60% a couple days ago when we saw Bitcoin take that big plunge to the downside and then bounce right back up. Lots of volatile, volatile moves, but I do think that dominance has somewhat topped out until we see that larger move to the upside or to the downside until bitcoin decides to make a decision here so crowcoin man we <laughs> this is a crazy chart to look at looking at the 0 0.082 really it's the 0 0.0830 cent level we've been talking about this for a while guys i always say if we see a candle close below that i was always expecting it to come right through it down to 0 0.0690 and we saw that happen but we violently got bought up and broke back above and broke above the point almost 10 cents, guys. We wicked above 10 cents. I really, really want to see us break above 10 cents. Really, really want to see us break above this moving average right here, which is about 11, a low, low 11 cents, 11.1 .1 cents around there. If we can break above that, in my opinion, I think that the next appropriate level to be looking at here is at the top of this channel all the way at 20 cents guys guys we were there we were we were almost at 20 cents back in march of 24 not that long ago and i do think that we are due to make our way back up to that price level as long as bitcoin decides to play nice so what's going on with bitcoin oh bitcoin 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 and right now we're looking at the weekly chart uh, we have a dollar we have a, a dollar one day and 21 hours left on this candle it's absolutely insane that it's starting to turn green after we saw a new lower low on the weekly the question is do we see this tick up are we going to see the weekly candle close above sixty two thousand dollars i want to see a bitcoin weekly candle closure above sixty two thousand five hundred if we see that I'm going to start flipping a little bit more bullish towards at least the top end of this channel, reaching about $72,000, $73,000. And until we touch that, I am leaning a little bit bearish here on altcoins specifically. I do, don't, I do not think that Bitcoin can spill over significantly and say, uh, come down below $49,000. Really, my target would be if we did break below this yellow uh, support, which was once support, and I turned into a broadening wedge because I saw people talking about it, and I just want to give my opinion on it. But we did break key support levels. Um, just something to keep in mind, guys. I do think that if we do see this continue to the downside, we are looking at this little channel here, basically $42,000. Anything below that, then we really are going to need to zoom out and really think about what's going on with this overall market and probably... If we break below $42,000, we need to be talking about, okay, uh, not macro cycle top, but uh, a nice local top is in, and we're looking at a much longer corrective period. I'm talking 
five, six, eight, maybe even 10 months, which would be completely breaking the four-year cycle theory. So I don't really think that there's a high likelihood of that, but there's always it's always important to be thinking about different outcomes. You can't just say, okay, well, it's going to follow the four-year cycle exactly because if everyone thinks that, then it's probably not going to happen, guys. That's how that's how it goes. If a trade is overcrowded, people are going to get hurt. It's as simple as that. I do want to say, I do want to say, we're looking semi-bullish here if we can close above 62500 but the altcoins, uh, they're a little bit worrisome to me. They're a little bit worrisome to me because if we do spill over here, if we do see a new lower low uh, spill over, especially on, say, the monthly, I, I would say the monthly is a very, very important time frame to be looking at, which is not closing for another 21 days and 21 hours. If we do close bearish on this at a lower, let's say, below $60,000, altcoins are probably going to get hurt. They're probably going to get hurt. We're probably going to see Solana uh, below $100. We're probably going to see a lot of altcoins get really, really hurt. See Crowcoin take a beating. Probably see that. So we need to be paying very close attention to where Bitcoin closes on the weekly and the monthly. But the monthly is very, very important. We don't really need to stress out about it just yet because we are above $60,000 right now. And we still have 21 days and 21 hours left on this time frame. Market Cypher showing a little bit of mixed signals. When you're looking at the monthly red dot on here is not that big of a deal, a red dot on the momentum wave, because I've talked about this before. As this market cap gets bigger and you start looking at logarithmic scale, you're much more likely to see a, a decline in the tops. Uh, you know, like um, you're going to see diminishing returns. It's as simple as that. But uh, the weekly looks a little bearish as well. You see the red dot here. On a trigger wave, usually uh, last time we saw that, we saw a 50% drawdown. Just throwing that out there. Guys, I'm a bull, but I always want to be looking at invalidations because if I'm just all in my bias and I'm a moon boy all the time, I'd be doing a disservice to you guys. I like to be transparent as possible. I like to be telling you guys what I'm seeing. And right now, I am cautiously optimistic. I'm cautiously bullish right now. Uh, we really got to keep our eyes on that $62,000 and $60,000 price level. So if you like this type of content, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel right now. Let me know in the comment section below, how much did you make off this crow pump? A 25% move today is absolutely incredible. And if we were to measure from the bottom, let's just play this game for fun. Basically a 57% move from the bottom, which is absolutely insane over the course of less than a week. Love to see moves like that, especially when crow coin is labeled as a stable coin sometimes because it just coils up in these tight, tight ranges. And we want to see some volatility, and we got some. But please, check out those awesome referral links down below. We have a $5,000 sign-in bonus to Blowfin, $4,100 sign-in bonus to FMX. If you want to leverage trade some crow coin, sign up, click those links, deposit, trade a little bit, get a bunch of free money. Also, go follow me on Instagram at 333 Sea. If I can reach 500 followers by this Sunday, I will give away $1,000 with a crow coin or any crypto to one of you guys that follows me. So go check that out. But that's all I really got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.